The National Oil Corporation (NOC), Arabic Almwist Alwatnait Lemft, is the national oil company of Libya. It dominates Libya's oil industry, along with a number of smaller subsidiaries, which combined account for around 70% the country's oil output. Of NOC's subsidiaries, the largest oil producer is the Waha Oil Company (WOC), followed by the Arabian Gulf Oil Company (AGOCO), Zuatina Oil Company (ZOC), and Serta Oil Company (SOC). Topic: <inaudible> Libyan oil sector overview. Libya is a member of the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries OPEC and holds the largest proven oil reserves in Africa followed by Nigeria and Algeria, 41.5 GBBL 6.60 times 10 to the 9 cubic meters as of January 2007, up from 39.1 GBBL 6.22 times 10 to the 9 cubic meters in 2006. About 80% of Libya's proven oil reserves are located in the Serta Basin province, which accounts for 90% of the country's oil output. The province ranks 13th among the world's petroleum provinces, having known reserves of 43.1 billion barrels, 6.85 times 10 to the 9 cubic meters of oil equivalent, 367.000000 bbl, 0 cubic meters of oil, 37.7 trillion cubic feet, 1.07 times 10 to the 12 cubic meters of gas, 0.1 gbbl, 16 million cubic meters of natural gas liquids. The government dominates Libya's economy through control of oil resources, which account for approximately 95% of export earnings, 75% of government receipts, and over 50% of GDP, which was USD $50.2 billion in 2006. History Early years Libya has attracted hydrocarbon exploration since 1956, when the first wildcat oil well was drilled onshore in the Serta Basin. Libya granted multiple concessions to ESSO, Mobile, Texas Gulf, and others, resulting in major oil discoveries by 1959. In 1969, the Idrisid monarchy was overthrown in a bloodless coup led by Muammar Gaddafi. He eventually elaborated a new theory of the state in which all productive units and workplaces were to be directly governed by popular congresses. As part of his vision, the National Oil Corporation was established on 12 November 1970. The company's first chairman was Salem Mohamed Amesh, who was later replaced by Omar Mundasir. Under its Articles of Incorporation, NOC was legally restricted to production sharing agreements PSA with international oil companies IOCs where the latter assumed all risks associated with exploration. In July 1970, further legislation made NOC responsible for marketing all domestic oil products. Topic: <laughs> Nationalization and the Arab oil embargo. In the 1970s Libya initiated a socialist-style nationalization program under which the government either nationalized oil companies or became a participant in their concessions, production and transportation facilities. As part of this program, NOC signed production sharing agreements with Occidental Petroleum, Syncat Italy, and formed a joint drilling company with SAPEM an ENI subsidiary. This was accompanied by nationalization of ConocoPhillips's Um Farid Field in 1970, British Petroleum's Sarir Field in 1971 and Amico's Sahabir Field in 1976. After commencement of the 1973 Arab-Israeli War, Saudi Arabia, Libya, and other Arab states proclaimed an embargo on oil exports to countries who supported Israel, primarily the United States. Additionally, the NOC had encountered legal actions by BP over claims of ownership. Although the 1973 oil crisis increased global demand, BP's legal position made some countries wary of importing from Libya. NOC compensated for this weakness by arranging barter deals with France and Argentina. On March 18, 1974, the Arab oil ministers ended the U.S. embargo, with Libya being the sole exception. 
During 1974, agreements reached with Exxon, Mobil, Elf Aquitaine and Agip provided production sharing on an 85-15 basis onshore, 81-19 offshore. Eventually, all the foreign companies excluding BP agreed to partial nationalization, providing Libya with a substantial oil surplus. However, declining world oil prices resulted in NOC selling back its production shares. Other concessions that were nationalized that year included those belonging to BP, Amosias, Beta Field, Hunt, Arco, Esso and Shell's 17% share in the Oasis Oil Company. Mobil Gelsenberg was owned by the NOC 51%, Mobil 32%, and Gelsenberg 17%. Overall, during 1976 the National Oil Corporation produced about 408,000 barrels, d 64,900 cubic meters, d and exported 1.2 mm BPD. U.S. <laughs> sanctions The last phase of the socialist period was characterized by an intensive effort to build industrial capacity, but falling world oil prices in the early 1980s dramatically reduced government revenues and caused a serious decline in Libya's advantage in terms of energy costs. More importantly, accusations of terrorism and Libya's growing friendship with the Soviet Union led to increased tensions with the West. On 10 March 1982, the U.S. prohibited imports of Libyan crude oil. Exxon and Mobil left their Libyan operations by January 1983. In March 1984, controls were expanded to prohibit exports to the Ross Al Enf petrochemical complex. President Ronald Reagan imposed sanctions on 7 January 1986 under the International Emergency Economic Powers Act, prohibiting U.S. companies from any trade or financial dealings with Libya, while freezing Libyan assets in the U.S. On 30 June 1986, the U.S. Treasury Department forced remaining U.S. oil companies to leave Libya but allowed them to negotiate standstill agreements, retaining ownership for three years while allowing NOC to operate the fields. As a result, Amirata Hess, Conoco, Grace Petroleum, Marathon, and Occidental left a production entitlement that was generating 263,000 barrels, d. 41,800 cubic meters, d. Negotiations with NOC and U.S. oil companies over assets dominated much of the late 1980s. Libya responded by concluding its third Exploration and Production Sharing Arrangements in 1988, including agreements with Rompetrol, the Romanian oil company, Royal Dutch Shell, Montedison, International Petroleum Corporation of Canada, Ina Naftaplin, OMV, Braspetro and Husky Oil. The agreements included expenditure guarantees by the Libyan government, an important departure from earlier regulations, designed to help offset sanctions. <laughs> UN sanctions and afterward Libya's isolation became even more pronounced following the 1992 imposition of United Nations sanctions designed to force Gaddafi to hand over two suspects indicted for the 1988 bombing of Pan Am Flight 103 over Lockerbie, Scotland. The sanctions, imposed on 31 March 1992, initially banned sales of equipment for refining and transporting oil, but excluded oil production equipment. Sanctions were expanded on the 11th of November 1993 to include a freeze on Libya's overseas assets, excluding revenue from oil, natural gas, or agricultural products. Under these conditions, NOC chairman Abdallah Al Badri emphasized reducing new projects and upgrading domestic facilities. Joint ventures were initiated with Viba, Petrofina, North African Petroleum, the Petroleum Development Co., Republic of Korea, and Lasmo. Foreign operators were encouraged to produce exclusively for export, limited to national oil companies with pre-sanctions equity in Libya. This policy was an attempt to contain the amount of crude offered on the spot market through third-party traders, and increase downstream investment. In 2000, NOC was reorganized by the General People's Congress after the Ministry of Energy was abolished, further consolidating control over the sector. Although UN sanctions were suspended in 1999, foreign investment was curtailed due to the U.S.-Iran and Libya Sanctions Act ILSA, which capped the annual amount foreign companies can invest in Libya at $20 million lowered from $40 million in 2001. 
On 14 August 2003, Libya agreed to compensate families of the 1988 bombing with $2.7 billion, to be released in three tranches, the first following a lifting of UN sanctions, the second after lifting of US sanctions, and the third after Libya is removed from the US State Department's state sponsors of terrorism list. On the 22nd of December 2003, Libya announced it would abandon WMD programs and comply with the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. The U.S. welcomed the move, but said it would maintain economic sanctions until it saw evidence of compliance. On 4 June 2004, U.S. Assistant Secretary of Commerce William H. Lash announced that Libya had sent its first shipment of crude oil to the U.S. since resumption of ties between the two countries. In May 2006, the U.S. officially removed Libya from its list of states that sponsor terrorism and normalized ties and removed sanctions. Since then, oil majors have stepped up exploration efforts for oil and natural gas in the country. Likewise, companies have tried using enhanced oil recovery EOR techniques to increase production at maturing fields. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Libyan civil war and transition. During the 2011 Libyan civil war, oil minister Shukri Ghanem defected and fled to Tunisia. In September 2011, the National Transitional Council named Nuri Berouin as chairman of the NOC during the transitional period. After a period when NOC was split between rival governments in eastern and western Libya, leaders in July 2016 reached an agreement to reunify the company's management. However, on 2 July 2018 they quarreled again. Topic operations On 30 January 2005, Libya held its first round of oil and natural gas exploration leases since the U.S. ended sanctions, 15 areas were offered for auctions. In October 2005, a second bidding round was held under EPSAIV, with 51 companies taking part and nearly $500 million worth of new investment flowing into the country as a result. In December 2006, Libya held its third bidding round, however, PSAs were still being signed by NOC as of April 2007. Winners of Libyan exploration area are determined based on how high a share of production a company is willing to offer NOC. Whichever company offers NOC the greatest share of profits is likely to win. In addition, oilfield developers initially bear 100% of costs exploration, appraisal, and training for a five-year minimum, while NOC retains exclusive ownership. Also included in Libyan licensing rounds was open competitive bidding and transparency, joint development and marketing of non-associated natural gas discoveries, standardized terms for exploration and production e and, and non-recoverable bonuses. Libya has substantial potential for exploration with an average of 16 wells per 10,000 km, whereas similar countries usually average 50, the world average is 105. IOC exploration will use imaging technology and stratigraphic concepts, extending to the Paleozoic basins. These include the Merzuk, Kufra and Cyrenaica platform regions, as well as the deeper Paleozoic plays in the semi-mature and mature basins. In 2007 it was estimated that only around 30% of Libya has been explored for hydrocarbons. In the Merzuk Basin, shows in oil wells in the early 1980s, followed by discoveries of giant fields like Elephant in 1997, opened a vast, formerly condemned, marginal province. In November 2016, the group chairman, Mustafa Sanala, announced the group is seeking to boost output to 900,000 barrels a day by the end of 2016 and about 1.1 million barrels next year. Topic upstream activities Oil and gas E&P is carried out by NOC subsidiaries and IOCs licensed by special participation and PSAs. These activities cover wide areas, both onshore and offshore, through Libya's territorial waters and continental shelf. NOC has a network of onshore oil, gas and product pipelines, crude oil export facilities and a gas pipeline. The Western Libyan Gas Project WLGP is a 50-50 joint venture between NOC and ENI, which came online in October 2004. Since then, WLGP has expanded to Italy and beyond. Currently, 280 times 10 to the power of 9 cu feet 7.9 times 109 cubic meters per year of natural gas is exported from a processing facility at Melita, on the Libyan coast, via Greenstream to southeastern Sicily. 
From Sicily, it flows to the Italian mainland, and then to the rest of Europe. In 2005, additional gas was supplied to the Greenstream pipeline from the Bar Esalam field, located in offshore block NC-41. Development of the Bar Esalam, WAFA and Buri fields, which are part of WLGP, and the natural gas export pipeline represented a shift in Libyan emphasis from oilfield development to a mix of natural gas and oilfield projects. Previously, natural gas exports were limited to LNG. NOC hopes to increase total oil production from 1.80 MMBD in 2006 to 2 MMBD by 2008. Foreign direct investment into the oil sector is likely, which is attractive due to its low cost of oil recovery, high oil quality, and proximity to European markets. Topic: <laughs> Field development and exploration. In November 2005, Repsol YPF discovered a significant oil deposit of light, sweet crude in the Merzuk Basin. Industry experts believe the discovery to be one of the biggest made in Libya for several years. Repsol YPF is joined by a consortium of partners including OMV, Total and Norsk Hydro. Also located in Merzuk Basin is Eni's Elephant Field, onshore in Block NC-174. In October 1997, a consortium led by British company LASMO, along with ENI and a group of five South Korean companies, announced that it had discovered large recoverable crude reserves 750 kilometers (470 miles) south of Tripoli. LASMO estimated field production would cost around $1 per barrel. Elephant began production in February 2004. ENI equity interest operated the field for joint venture partners NOC 33.3%, Korea National Oil Co. 16.67%, SK Corp of Korea 8.33%, Majuko Enterprise Limited of Korea 5%, and Daesung Industrial Co. Limited of Korea 3.3%. The field was expected to produce 150,000 barrels d, 24,000 cubic meters d, when fully operational in 2007. WOC's Waha fields currently produce around 350,000 barrels d, 56,000 cubic meters d. On the 29th of December 2005, ConocoPhillips and co-venturers reached an agreement with NOC to return to its oil and natural gas exploration and production operations in Libya and extend the 13 million acre (53,000 square kilometers) Waha concessions another 25 years. ConocoPhillips operates the Waha fields with a 16.33% share in the project. NOC has the largest share of the Waha concession, and additional partners include Marathon Oil (16.33%) and Amarada Hess. In October 2013, Libya's oil minister Abdelbari Urusi revealed that the NOC was considering buying Marathon's stake in Waha. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Downstream activities. Topic. Refining NOC owns and operates several refining facilities, in addition to many oil and natural gas processing companies. Close to 380,000 barrels d cubic meters, d of crude is refined by NOC subsidiaries. Approximately 60% of refined products are exported, primarily to Europe. These are simple hydroskimming refineries, but their products meet market specifications due to high-quality crude. As of early June 2007, NOC was evaluating investment proposals for upgrading its Ras Lanif refinery. Total cost of the upgrade is estimated at $2 billion. NOC is also expected to re-tender an engineering, procurement and construction contract for upgrading the Zavia refinery. NOC's refineries include Notes 1. Amounts in barrels per day. Petrochemicals The Roslanif refinery produces petrochemicals, utilizing naphtha as a feedstock to an ethylene plant with a capacity of 1.2 million tpy tons per year. 
Its main products are ethylene 330,000 TPY, propylene 170,000 TPY, mix C4 130,000 TPY and P gasoline 335,000 TPY. NOC also has two polyethylene plants, HDPE and LLDPE, each with a capacity of 160,000 MT per year. These plants produce various products which are mostly exported. In Brega there is another petrochemical complex using natural gas as a feedstock. In May 2005, Shell agreed to a final deal with NOC to develop Libyan oil and gas resources, including LNG export facilities. The deal came after lengthy negotiations on the terms of a March 2004 framework agreement. Reportedly, Shell is aiming to upgrade and expand Brega and possibly build a new LNG export facility as well at a cost of $105 to $450 million. The plants in this complex are Notes 1. EIA 2007 in Mount per year unless stated otherwise. <laughs> Exports Most of the petroleum products produced by the National Oil Corporation are sold on a term basis, including to the country's overseas oil retail and marketing network Oilinvest, also known as Tamoil. Through Tamoil, Libya is a direct producer and distributor of refined products in Italy, Germany, Switzerland, and Egypt. Tamoil Italia, based in Milan, controls about 7.5% of Italy's retail market for oil products and lubricants, which are distributed through 3,000 Tamoil service stations. Libya's ability to increase the supply of oil products to European markets has been constrained by Libya's refineries' need for substantial upgrading to meet stricter European Union environmental standards in place since 1996. In June 2007, U.S.-based Colony Capital reached an agreement to take over 65% of Tamoil, while the Libyan government will retain 35%. Libya will continue to control Tamoil Africa, which operates retail stations in Egypt and Burkina Faso, as well as other African nations. NOC oil is also sold on a term basis to foreign oil companies like AGIP, OMV, Repsol YPF, Tupras, Sepsa, and Total, and small volumes to Asian and South African companies, with domestic consumption of 284,000 barrels, d. 45,200 cubic meters, d. In 2006, Libya had estimated net exports including all liquids of 1.525 million barrels of oil per day. The majority of Libyan oil exports are sold to European countries, such as Italy 495,000 barrels of oil per day, Germany 253,000 barrels of oil per day, Spain 113,000 barrels of oil per day, and France 87,000 barrels of oil per day. After the lifting of sanctions against Libya in 2004, the United States has gradually increased its importation of Libyan oil. The U.S. imported an average of 85,500 barrels d, 13,590 cubic meters d, of total Libyan oil exports in 2006, up from 56,000 barrels d, 8,900 cubic meters d, in 2005. Italy's Edison SPA has committed under a take or pay contract to taking around half 140 bcf per year of the natural gas from the wlgp and to use it mainly for power generation in italy besides edison italy's energia gas and gaz de france committed to taking around 70 times 10 to the power of 9 cu feet 2.0 times 109 cubic meters of libyan natural gas Another 70 times 10 to the power of 9 cu feet 2.0 times 109 cubic meters per year is to be produced from WLGP for the domestic Libyan market feedstock or power generation or possibly for export to Tunisia. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Energy overview. Notes 1 Energy Information Administration 2007 Topic See also Challenger Limited Sonatrack Hassan Tatanaki Joint venture with Yara International and Libyan Investment Authority List of Libyan companies equals equals notes <laughs>